Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing brilliantly well and everything is amazing in your world. So if you're new here, you're so very welcome. This is a channel for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any significant Pisces placements. Uh, if you just vibe with the Pisces energy, you're very welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. Your energy is unbelievable. So if you're joining, you've joined this incredible collective of energy. So it's such a privilege to read for you. And today, after the last two or three days of profound readings, where do we go? We go to the angels and to the unicorns and to the dragons and to Mother Earth. So uh, this should be a pretty strong grounding reading today. So we're going to start with the unicorns and hope. Stay positive. The world is behind you. Look up to the light. This really reminds me, see with the mane here cutting very short, when you're learning to ride and you're learning to jump, um, one thing that is really lovely is having the mane of the horse because you kind of like have this extra anchor point. But when they're, I think it's called hogged, when their mane is cut short like that, um, you kind of hope as you go over the jumps. It's like, I hope I'm going to not fall off because I haven't got much to cling on to. I have to use my legs, use my muscles, use the bits that I'm supposed to use when I'm learning how to you know, go over big jumps on a horse. So you're about to take a big leap, a big jump, and you might be hoping it will be OK. But this is saying stay positive. It's going to be amazing. OK, adventure. Wow. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. We had travel yesterday, uh, manifesting travel, manifesting your adventures, manifesting your dreams. So the I'm just going to turn the light up. We might not get as much um, out of focus here. So I'll just stay with me with the focus. I'll bring it into focus in a sec, but it does mean something is coming into focus for you. Okay, beginning. Here we go. Beginnings. Don't be afraid to start small and grow. All flowers must grow through the dirt. OK, so there is something new that you are sowing the seeds of. Um, yesterday, we definitely saw some perspective and start happening. And um, yeah, something's very much coming in and out of focus for you. So as I said, if you're new, apologies, it will, it will settle down. Uh, it's not normally this bad. So there's definitely something you're seeing, but you're not necessarily quite seeing how it's going to work. Or well, you're sowing the seeds of something. It feels like a huge, like a huge adventure. It's going to be amazing. Um, so we'll get the central energy. I'm just going to get a couple of charms. And we have got, oh, lovely. It's like an umbrella, or it's actually a fill. There's such beautiful colors here. And something perhaps you're a little bit worried about shielding yourself for some energy, but there's also a bit of a parasol theme here and a key. Okay, so central energy we have got here. A five of earth, lack, worry, and assistance. Foundational energy. We've got the magician, manifestation, empowerment, and preparedness, and three of fire, goals, expansion, and vision. Okay, so this is the material, this is the emotional, this is the spiritual energy around your worry, your lack, perhaps you're looking for assistance on something. Emotionally, we have got the five of fire and the ace of air. And spiritually, we have got the Queen of Air and the Four of Water. Four. OK, so those of you who are new, this is a spread that I've created. So here we have the central energy we're talking about. Over here, we're working with your intu intuition. And over here, we're working with your ego, your mind, your thinking, your processing. So intuitively here around the five of Earth, I feel that you've been needing or perhaps seeking or wanting assistance for, for, for some time. The five of Earth is about being disappointed with life. It can be about being left out. It can be about financial worries as well. Um, but then the need to seek assistance. So perhaps you've got to the stage of some kind of idea or creative adventure, or even you want to go traveling, but you don't necessarily want to go on your own or you don't know how to organize it. So you're seeking assistance to help you move forward in some way. And you're hoping that that in the seeking of that assistance, it's going to be amazing. But you are intuitively a little bit defensive. You've had... Um, you 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 have some really really big visions but some of them need to be protected so emotionally you're not ready necessarily to share everything that is around your vision with everybody else and your intuition is saying that's right okay so listen to your emotions don't you don't have to communicate everything so over here 
we've got this ace of air in communication, but actually this little poor little soul here looks like a little bit let down and disappointed, whereas the ace of air is actually a very positive card. So here, I'm just going to stay on your intuition and I'm going to follow my way around this. With this worry and the queen of air, you like your, your intuitive energy is saying, look, when you tap into your spiritual self, you know what you need to say. Like when you when you stay in tune with your intuition, you will communicate everything that you want to when it's needed to be said. Because Pisces, you've been really, really mastering your communication capability. You've really been mastering your emotional feelings and the depth of who you are as well. And we've got two fives here, which means something's shifting. But I think there's a bit of a shifting around your attitude to how how people show up for themselves when you turn up with all of your capability. Pisces, you perhaps have five or six plans, particularly with the fives here. You've got you've got or you've got a vision. You've got a really, really, really long term vision or you're thinking about creating a long-term vision. And perhaps you've tried to explain that vision to people in the past and all you've met is jealousy or people letting you down or people who don't get it or um, people even calling you weird. And you've kind of like, you've gone in, you've been in this self-protection mode and you need to come out of it because you do need to ask for assistance, but you don't have to communicate everything. And, what we've got going on over here, so that's your intuition. Your intuition is saying, look, you will find the right people. You will say the right things. It will be okay. You have this big vision. It will be an adventure. It's absolutely amazing. And here your ego is kind of hoping to tell people how magical you are or how magical you've been magicking. Perhaps you've been magicking actually the right people to work with you or work for you or help you or assist you in some way. And you want to stay positive. But this, these two cards here, the Four of Water and the Ace of Air, are, are you've been let down in the past. And so you can become a little bit kind of distracted, a little bit self-absorbed, a little bit slight victim mentality, dare I say it. And by the way, I experience that all the time. It's just like, oh, no, it's not going to be OK. It's, you know, who's going to get me? Who's going to get my ideas? But you've been magicking. You've been waiting for this to happen. So trust that the person who opens the door when you ask for assistance is going to be the right person. And trust that you will know how much to say to them and how much not to say to them. Because otherwise you're missing the point of what the universe is sending to you. The universe is sending you somebody who will help you, who will who will give you that hope to move forward. And it doesn't have to be a person. It can be a dog. It can be a house. It can be a, a, a travel. It can be a new job. Did I say that? I probably said that. It could be anything. But the key, the key is that you want to grow and I think the the issue is that you've been subject to a lot of other people's negativity in the past and you can't be bothered with it. So you're really hesitant about which door to open, but it will be okay. Okay, we've got these beautiful cards. I'm going to turn them over carefully because sometimes there's some new to see. Yeah, there is. So let me just get that. Okay. So Gaia, she's actually here herself, Mother Earth. We've got another five. So five, 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 positive change is coming. Zen Garden, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. Just say, just stay present, stay Zen, stay in your inner sanctuary. You'll know what to say, when to say it. When you start opening doors to moving yourself forward to new beginnings, and don't be able, don't be afraid to start with one small idea. Like if you want to, you have a raft of ideas about a vision and life and adventure and passion and purpose. But don't be afraid to just to start with one small idea with the right person who you know is going to support you and not like try to put you down or be like make you feel disillusioned as you start to share and communicate and makes you feel bored because nobody gets you. Just start small. Stay. Keep to yourself what is important to keep to yourself and allow the key is just to allow like allow relationships to grow or allow your finances to grow allow your your self sustainment to grow as you as you progress so let's say you want to put some art out into the world and, and you've no idea where to go or what to do then um and you've got maybe you've got I don't know, five different styles. So 
let's say you paint unicorns, you might um, create tapestries of um, beach scenes, for example. Um, I'm going to run out of others. You do clay pots and you don't know, you know, you love them all. You're brilliant at all of them. But if you went to a gallery, they'll be like, which, you know, I don't know who you are. And you say, well, I'm going to start small with that one and I'm going to see how it goes. And then if that works and I'm going to either do more with that particular person or I'm going to open the door to something else but I've, I've started I've started small I started with a step that I can cope with I don't have to share everything with everybody straight away like mother earth share it with mother earth mother earth knows what you're capable of and she will bring you what you need and just take each opportunity and move forward with it lotus blue butterfly transformation becoming lightness and beauty what a astonishingly beautiful card and crayfish, protection, perseverance, vulnerability, and regeneration. Look at these things coming in and out of focus. Okay. So there's a lot coming in and out of focus here. You've got some crayfish, you've got some protection, but you've got some butterfly, you've got some transformation. So you're feeling vulnerable. You, you want to perhaps, as I said, move yourself forward, but it's like, who do I trust? I'm ready to come out and trust people, but do I really trust people? It's like, yep, yeah, it's okay. Just take it one step at a time. Just do one bit at a time. High priestess, intuition, wisdom, and patience. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, inner beauty, patience, becoming transformation. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with other people because they can't, they can't, they can't achieve your level of self-mastery, Pisces. Six of far, success, recognition, and self-esteem. Okay, you're going to be victorious. How you approach whatever this is about for you is going to be victorious okay so what is this about because it's um <laughs> we've got lots of nice energy going on in here so there's something about you with the five of pentacles or the five of earth opening some doors for yourself that perhaps you haven't opened for a long time or you need to open and um you're worried perhaps about how that is going to go but your intuition will guide you you have the wisdom you have the inner knowledge okay i'm going to do another of these spreads Page of inspiration. Wow. I feel like you're you've got a real enthusiasm to inspire other people. You you've got a creative surge on at this point in time. Look at this energy just kind of flowing out of you, and it's magical. Look at this little black cat here. There's there's something very magical and creative about your energy here. Okay, so we have got the muse of voices. We have got the six of materials. Great. Okay. Emotionally, we have got the two of materials and the muse of emotions. Wow. Okay. And then spiritually, we have got the four of emotions and we have got the five of materials. Again, that's the five of pentacles. Again, there is this energy of real worry financially and the four of emotions. Wow. Okay. So that's the four of cups. We have the four of cups up here as well. So as you own your creativity and you have a lot of fun with it, you're going to find a huge amount of material success. You're going to find your emotions coming into balance and you're going to find, I love how this, actually there's this dual aspect of this. We've got these two people or um, faces kissing and then we've got the cup. You're going to feel very in tune with your soul and spiritual self and the love of life rather than focusing on what you haven't got, which is what we had up here in the previous where you're focused on lack it's difficult to see the joy but spiritually when you focus on your creativity and having fun with your creativity then you start to really see the different aspects and the lack becomes much more much more joyful you become very very in tune with yourself so i mean this could be you perhaps seeing yourself in the mirror i'm not reading second energy and here i'm seeing that you're kissing your soul like you're really tuning into yourself so as you have fun with your creativity, intuitively, you know that you're going to have more success and you're going to overcome that feeling of um, boredom. But here you're going to have a new level of acceptance of yourself. That's what's really coming through, a new level of ambition, a new level of clarity about what makes you feel emotionally happy. And what makes you feel emotionally happy and pretty much all of us is growing with our creative juices, like inflow. 
So your mind, your ego is saying, therefore, right, I am going to take ownership of my thoughts. I'm going to voice my truth. I'm going to be very emotionally available and mature to myself. And I'm going to overcome this feeling of lack, this the, the gateway to actually moving beyond the lack, to moving through the portal to receiving the financial success that I know is there is to master my spiritual self two kings these are two muses these two kings it's it's really being down to earth about what you want to say what makes you emotionally happy and allowing that to be allowing that to come into existence so there's a there's a transformation a, a less protective more flowing um more intuitive and feeling like feeling like you want to own your own success and the only way any of us can be really 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 truly successful um is to well, it's not the only way but to to feel able to own our creativity and and not feel that we have to um censor ourselves to hold ourselves back but if you need to go and seek assistance turn up with a really positive fun flowing creative attitude um but keep keep the secret like with a cat here like it, you don't have to share everything keep some stuff inside here <laughs> it's like share what you need to share and and have fun doing it have fun playing with people having having fun playing with you know how far you can take people with how much they want to hear and learn and grow from you and you're then helping other people to be positive. So you're, I think you're about to take a real leap forward in self-expression. And you're hoping it's okay, but you're feeling a little bit nervous because it's like, what am I going to hold on to? <laughs> um, what, what if I open that door and I meet somebody that's not very nice? It's like, well, one, you're probably not going to because your energy is in a really good place. And two, you've got so, so much self-mastery that you understand that one, it's never personal. And two, you just share what you need to share and, and then just flow on. Um, and just protect yourself here from energy that you don't like and just flow on to energy that you do like and don't take it personally. Um, yeah, because you're very in tune. You're very, very, very in tune with your emotions and capacities. Okay, what else do we need to know here? From Mother Earth, Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. What's going on in your Inner Sanctuary? Guardian Angel, you're not alone. Wow, I love that. Okay, direction guardian, choose your path, really helpful. And we've got moon, take note of intuitive messages. This is just confirmation that things are shifting. You're on a spiritually guided path. Uh, we saw, again, there's some touch of that yesterday and two days ago, like the reading was basically, your life is never going to be the same because you're choosing a direction that is all about and being right for you. So this is guide, divinely guided look at the signs and synchronicities this doesn't mean to say you have to if you're in doing something that you love or you're on a path that works for you just now what this is saying is that you're flowing and being guided towards more and more joy more and more understanding about yourself more and more earth magic wisdom and options things are opening up for you here so just just really stay stay aligned to the to the signs to the moon um when i started to really tune into energy i when when i found a sign or a synchronicity it, i i correlated it with something else that was going on for me some, something about how i felt particularly around self-worth i used to find a lot of pennies but every time i felt like on the ground or coins um cents dollars when i found them um was always when I was thinking about how I needed to value myself more. So I then started to really focus on the signs. I, I I realized that they were very, very specific. They weren't just showing up randomly. And then you start to take intu intuitive thoughts and notes and allow yourself to be guided into perhaps doing things that you wouldn't never think that you would you would do, you would want to do. Embrace your life purpose. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Choosing your path. I'm guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Oh, look at this cat again. We got, oh, my goodness. I'm sure we had the feather. Do we have the feather yesterday? We've got the butterfly flowing. Um, writing. Some of you might really, really feel like you're writing. This is so following on from yesterday's message. 
there's something really shifting in you moving towards what's right for you oh this is perfect timing this is it it's time to take action now i will be here with you every step of the way you're not alone your guardian angel is here wow okay wow things are shifting <laughs> things are things are shifting pisces can we get some more information about this Okay, we have got this. I always think this is like an empty palette, an artist palette that's ready to be filled with any color that you want it to. And, oh, lovely, we've got the hummingbird, the sweetness, the joy, the lightness, the high vibration, your vibration is rising. You've got this creative, creative juices flowing. Anything that you want to, um, anything that you want to bring to life is going to come to life. Wow, what else is coming through for you today? We have got the three of inspiration. You're just you're just making life flow. Like there's no there's no blocks in your way here. You're um you're really you're just like you're letting things go. You're just you're with the dominoes toppling, it's just like actually they make a beautiful pattern. Whereas before it's like, oh, just things seem to be just not be going right. Like dominoes are toppling left, right and center. Things are falling over and you're now just like, yeah, I'm I'm pushing them. I'm pushing myself forward. The, two, the seven of materials, the, your patience has been paying off. You're really, really, let's just the self mastery. That seven of materials is about growing. It's about growing your finances as well. So um, things are perhaps about to shift for you financially. You're, you're growing your finances as you're doing more and more things that you love. Money isn't a limited resource. It's it's something you create through your um, your heartbeats, your life force, and your creativity. Okay, Rose. Oh wow, look at that dragon. Okay, and we have got wisdom again. Your wisdom is bringing you love, love of life. I'm just going to check what Rose has got to say because she's a very specific dragon. I've just seen ten ten on the timer, so we had ten ten yesterday. Things are really shifting. Okay, Rose is the dragon. She's just saying, open up your heart. Open up your heart to doing things that you love. And for many of you, open up your heart to sharing your wisdom. It's something the Pisces Collective is just astonishingly good at. And it's something that is very, um, very possibly a life purpose for many of you, which is sharing your wisdom or sharing your creativity in some way. We have got the five of voices. And... We have got here the night of emotions. And getting with this five of voices with the mistletoe here. Um, we always used to have a saying when I was in the corporate world and we were looking for um you know ways to grow the business. We used to say we have to sometimes kiss a lot of frogs to find the prince. And I don't mean people, I mean um, you know, going and looking. We used to go and look for companies to buy, for example, and you would have to go and see quite a few before you found one that was a perfect fit for you. It doesn't matter that doesn't necessarily mean that the the um the factory or the the business that we went to look at was a bad business it wasn't necessarily a, a good fit for us you know somebody's somebody's frog is somebody else's prince so i'm getting that with this five of voices that you're and where we had that five of um pentacles there's a lot of fives coming through here there's a lot of fives energy here yeah, it was five pentacles um five of earth that you're you're ready to take on the world you're ready to change you're ready to embrace choices but you don't know whether they're going to be a good choice or a bad choice and so there's two things coming through what here one which is you will know you'll just intuitively know but two you are being guided you're just you're really really being guided here there's there's things opening up for you with here with this choose your path and the direction guardian the angel the guardian angel is really going to help you so use your intuition, but also follow the signs and synchronicities because doors are opening. A lot of doors are opening for you. And you're perhaps really feeling ready to commit yourself to to put pen to paper, to write yourself a life plan, to to maybe even sign a new contract to do something, to determine that you're going to share your wisdom or share your knowledge or share your creativity or just like commit in your journal to having more fun to to having a a more rewarding more fulfilling life in whatever way that means to you 
there's a level of commitment going on in here to your to your inner to your inner world to your inner dreams we've got health wow look at the energy of that we have got power wow and we have got light my goodness me If any of you have any kind of health problems, look at the vibrancy that's going on in here. And when we're following our dreams, as opposed to doing things that we think we should do um, or trying to fight the material world, um, we do lose health. We regain our power when we follow a path that is just right for us. And we regain our health when we allow our soul to shine through and not our ego to get in the way of what we want. Here with the light and the moon and the, and the, and the it's like a fire pit, Perhaps you enjoy sitting out under the moon, under the stars. Um, there will be some kind of inspiration coming to you. Perhaps as you just spend time contemplating, allow your intuition to flow. Um, allow those intu intuitive messages that come when you sit and rest. Um, as I said, perhaps doing things where you're outside and you're in nature and you're allowing the energy to, 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 be, to be flowing through you. So rather than hope, I'm just looking at these cards over here, where you might be feeling hopeful, the universe is saying, no, you're going to be victorious. Whatever whatever this is, doors opening, new beginnings, things growing, things shifting for you, um, moving yourself to, forwards in a way that's really, really, really right for you, It's the time is now. Embrace your life purpose, not just your job. And, and and there's a power in that for you, but there's a power there's a power flowing through you. Okay, anything else? I just feel like I want I feel like I want a couple more of these. I don't need too many cards more, but anything else that Pisces needs to know today? Jewel within a teardrop, appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. And moonlight again, travel, romance and potential. Okay. Transform, rise above any situation and become the best version of yourself and success as well. Bloom, where, what it, bloom wherever you are planted. If some of you are are being invited to travel, you're going to have a really, really successful outcome. If you're, you know what, I just, this needs, this needs some explain, explaining from the guidebook. I'll back in a sec. Yeah, I thought it was. Okay. So 10, or we've had 10 tens quite featuring quite a lot and I saw 10, 10 on the timer. So the 10 was really speaking to me. You will soon experience a strong spiritual and emotional bond with another person, a family member, an animal, or a pet. During this time, you will also reconnect with your innermost feelings and true nature, which have been suppressed or ignored of late. This is a deep, emotionally, deeply emotional time where tears of sadness transform into tears of joy. Your appreciation of life, love, and friendships will strengthen as you give thanks for so, the many blessings in your life. Love is truly all around you. Embrace it, cherish it, and honour it. You and those you love unite through a common bond and the love you feel for one another grows stronger and more profound. This is a special and magical time. Be sure to savour each and every moment. Love is all that really matters. And there's an affirmation. I am at one with my higher self. I am in touch and in tune with my innermost feelings. I'm in I am blessed. I'm spiritually connected to those I love. I am loved. For those of you where we had that, um, opening card here that opening energy of being I'm just going to bring it back of being afraid to open the doors where you've been left out disappointed let down in the past and you're just afraid of letting other people in but you kind of need to because you need to move something forward as I said it could be anything this five of earth perhaps you need some assistance with something perhaps you just want to open the door to 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 family, to more people, to new friendship groups. It could be anyone. There could be absolutely anyone, whatever it means to you, on the on the other side of the door of moving forward. And what's going to be on the other side of the door is some of the most deeply meaningful and beautiful relationships. 
love, travel, adventure, success, people you can grow together, transform with, and here we've got the key. So the door is about to open. Something is about to shift. And um, again, I just want to bring, just stay zen. I'm just going to, oh, it isn't actually, it isn't actually nude, although I was worried about covering it up. Okay, you have your power. I just want to get some of these back on here. Stay true to your heart. You will feel more and more vibrant. Stay tuned to your intuition. There's something really, really shifting about your life path here and you're not allowed. And this is the one I want. It's perfect timing. It's perfect timing for you to embrace your life purpose. Things are really, really shifting for you. And you're going to be joining up with people who just are the best. They, like They make you feel absolutely amazing. And there's something about your life purpose that is coming to life. So with Rose the Dragon here, honor your feelings, allow yourself to feel your fears. So if you're afraid of people or you're afraid of what you might meet on the other side of the door, if like, let's say you're going for a new job or you're going for um, you know, some kind of investment or you're going on a blind date, your intuition will tell you instantly. So just, just keep following the signs, keep tuning into that beautiful heart of yours and stay true, of your, true to your inner power. Because you're you're being divinely guided. I keep having to shift these around. There we go. You're being incredibly divinely guided. You've got all the tools, Pisces. That's what I want to say. You've got all the tools in your intuitive wisdom. You are sitting in the high priestess energy. You are sitting, working with the, the moon. You're very... You're very at ease and at peace with your emotions. And if you're not at this point in time, that this is the direction that you're heading. So all of these readings, when you're saying, oh, that's not quite, I don't quite resonate with that. Just, just trust that the energy of the collective is moving you to a place where you're going to feel very, very in tune with yourself. And when you're in tune with yourself, you will feel the energy of other people. You'll feel the energy of animals. You'll feel the energy of the moon. You'll feel the energy of people coming towards you. You'll feel the energy of your potential. You'll feel the energy of the sweetness of light and the life and the joy because your vibration will just keep rising and rising and rising. So here, the door is opening. It's even the same door, okay? It's even the same door, and here's the key, okay? You have found the key, that self-mastery, that understanding of your intuition, the understanding of your of your the new beginning that is about to grow. Just share what you need to share. Everything is opening for you. The angels are saying, right, come on, let's walk on through. You have your power, Pisces. It's now, it's now, um, choices are opening up for you. Beautiful life choices are opening up for you. Because you're ready. Wow. Okay. I think that is it for today. I'm going to leave it there. Take care. Bye.